You can find symbols in many places in the world around you. A symbol is a picture or drawing that stands for something real. People use symbols to communicate something. These symbols stand for emotions and real objects. Symbols are used to communicate something on maps too. A map shows a specific area, including the places and landmarks that are found there. For example, the map of a zoo shows where each type of animal is found. It also shows the paths you can take to walk through the zoo. A street map of a city shows all of the roads and landmarks in the city. A globe is a three-dimensional model of Earth. Three-dimensional means that instead of being flat, the model is round like a ball. Many globes and maps show the land and water features of places on Earth. Can you tell which is land and which is water? The colors are a big clue. Mountains, hills, deserts, and valleys are all types of land features. They are usually colored green or brown. Lakes, ponds, rivers, and oceans are all types of water features. These are usually colored blue. Many maps show land and water features in ways that are similar to real life. Here is a picture of an area of land viewed from high above. And here is a map that shows the same area's land and water features. Do you see any features that are the same? You may notice a lot of green, blue, and brown. Remember, blue usually represents water. This area has a lake. Notice that a symbol has been drawn in the basic shape of a lake. It is colored blue. Look below the map. You can see that there is a section that shows each symbol and tells what it stands for. This section is called a key. The other symbols in the key are brown and green. Remember, these colors are usually used to represent land features. There are mountains behind the lake. The map uses a brown triangle to represent these mountains. What other features do you notice in the picture of the area? Do you see the trees? The map uses a green tree shape as the symbol for the forest. Notice that the forest symbol is in the same location as the trees in the real-life picture. Here is another map. Can you tell which areas show land and which areas show water? The key below says that this blue line represents a river. This is water. Here is the river on the map. There is also a brown triangle symbol. This symbol represents mountains. Two areas on the map have mountains. There is also a green tree symbol. This represents woods. The area of the map that has woods is near the river. This map has one more land feature. The tan shape represents a desert. There is a desert on the other side of the mountain. Using maps can help you better understand the world around you. What land and water features are in the area where you live? Maybe you can create a map of your own.